You know? Being here... In this big set piece and listening to this music some more... Which I'm really digging, by the way. It feels like this moment... Has given me a sense of, uh... Clarity, so to speak. Let me just finding these ruins... And seeing all of this... Now knowing where my next objective lies, which might be the primary goal we have to reach. It is kind of a warning in its own right. And now I'm like, even more invested into this game than I was beforehand. It's just nice to have a clear objective on what I have to do now, if this is what I have to do. Sad I gotta leave that music behind, but... We gotta proceed at some point. Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Metroid Prime Blind. Previously, we made our way back to the Impact Crater, and we found those big ruins, as well as discovering the first of the 12 Chozo artifacts that Town 4 has in its planet. And so probably 11 more we gotta find too. Today, we're going to make our way back to the ruins because can be scan data. Increased war loss activity detected. A strong high presence within this region. Okay, the bird dome. Well, I was heading back to the ruins anyways, but it seems like I got an even more of a focal point to reach now. Game just provided me that, that's kind of nice. But like I said, I was heading back to the ruins anyways. Because I think according to the logbook entries I got from those artifacts... Hang on, I gotta pull the map up again to see where the... Yeah, I'm on the right path. I was looking for that elevator. According to the entries I found from those ruins, if I'm led to... What I'm led to believe is correct... There might be at least two of the artifacts that reside back in the ruins. So we're going to make that our primary goal in terms of achieving something. I believe these were referring to the Life Giver artifact. And there was something else. We'll pull it back up. I'm not sure what that was about. No, nope, not that. I'll get these buttons uh, figured out someday. So we'll go to the artifacts. I believe one of them was the life giver. There's a tower within the ruins where light always shines. Move from the waters there to find the artifact of the life giver. And there was another one. I think it was the world. Yeah, it was. Within the ruins for our hall, we, we honor our fallen elders in a great hall. A chamber beneath the statue holds the artifact of the world. So if what I'm suspecting is right, we might be able to find those two somewhere in these ruins. As given what we just saw a few moments ago with that War Wasp activity uh, update. It seems we might be on the right track and there's plenty more of those ruins to explore. <laughs> no big surprise, since, well, there'd be ruins. Of course they'd be a big place to navigate through. But I also remember... Back in the Hive Becca room, there was a small space. Oh, I don't know that before. I think I missed that the first couple of times I passed by here. I remember that there was a small space that I could go through with the Morph Ball. But I didn't have that function at the time. But now we do, so I want to make that another place I want to go back to. The history of the Chozo stretches back into ancient times, so far into the fog of the past, that we know not where our ancestors came from. One thing is clear, however. The Chozo who colonized Town 4 made a conscious choice to exude a civilization of advanced technology. We Chozo chose to live in harmony with nature, guided by the providence of the universe. We believe we will spend peaceful days here and plan to leave our words from time to time. Okay, so I think that was intended to be the first 
chose to warp it I was supposed to get, but I clearly avoided it. That's part of my part. I know these pillars, I scared these off screen. They, they didn't amount to anything important. Just say that they're pillars. <laughs> yeah, well, they exist. Okay, I just gotta remember where that high specker room was first. And then we'll hit that again. Uh, before we head to where that bird do lies. Provided I can't get there at all. Oh, wait a second. Okay, this is where we got the morph ball last episode. But I completely neglected to use it here on this half pipe. What if I could get up there? Requires more morph ball augmentation, boost ball upgrade re required. Go figure. Just one more place I can't hit. The reason why I point this out is because you can see if you hop a couple times, you're able to find another door, but let's look at the pink uh, shield over it. So even if I get up there, I probably don't have the upgrade necessary to access it. That's just one more place I gotta keep track of. Hello. I see that uh, missile over there. Let me deal with these beetles first. Even though I don't have to, they're pretty weak as it is. I see that up there. What if I could get that with my base form? Probably not. Might need the aforementioned boost ball augmentation. Yeah, it's kind of looking like it, unless there's a passage way over there somehow. Nope, I don't think so. So I need to find a way to boost up there. Can I blow that up? Yeah, I can! I still thought there was a crate over here. And this is one of the items I think I was trying to scan before, but I kept missing out on doing so. Large energy. <laughs> Alright, fine. Whatever. At least it gets me 20 points back. Which was helpful because I stupidly stepped in that uh, acid. Well, it doesn't matter. At least we're back here in the high mecha room. What if I could scan some more stuff here? Great passage. Just be inactive. Life force detected within hollows of machine. Yeah, that bridge is more of a functional. Yeah, nothing of importance here other than the machine that I can't scan anymore. Go through here. Hey god. Oh, better be careful. Why check those anything out of there? Again, just being safe. Just being thorough. This is the spot I was referring to last time. Ooh, four crates. Keep an eye out for those now that I can blow them up with my missile. Let's see what this hides. Okay. Got morph ball segment. <laughs> How much you want to bet that I don't have the upgrade needed to get to wherever I'm at right now? Because <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, considering how many places I'm still blocked off from despite making it. <laughs> Despite making a little headway uh, in these first few episodes. Uh, oh, we found a door. Maybe I'm onto something here. Since all the map. Huh. I wonder what this is. Uh, access to backboard caverns. Okay, I remember one of the artifact logbook uh, entries say that in artifact we're inside in a bag for area. I don't think I'm gonna go there yet. There's still a lot more places to explore here in the ruins. And that feels like another world anyways, or another part of the world rather. Oh, okay, that's not bring up the <coughs> That's not bring up the world map. Cool. I don't think I'll move anywhere though. Oh don't wait wait, I can <laughs> I could do that. That's not gonna matter though. 
Let's do it. Okay, I'm learning more and more how this uh, map works. That's not gonna help me and want to actually explore the dang place. A more fall? Uh. Ah, there we go. It's just getting pretty quiet around here, pretty mellow. It's probably on some version on something that I'm gonna be hitting that might be a little tough. Ooh, hello there. Missile expansion. Can I get to it though? Let's scan the room and see what we can find. Middle gates block edge to the center. Now that I can see. What am I gonna blow it up with a missile? Let's try. Nope, <laughs> that'd be too easy. Alright, there's something here that I don't get. Hmm. Here's some more... ...holes for... Looks like my blood... Looks like my morph ball. The first of three locking me mechanisms that seal the gate. It's active, but its key slot is sealed by a weak metal grating. I think I might need the morph ball bomb for this. These all just see the same thing. Yeah, it seems that way. Maybe I have to like bomb jump my way up there. That's probably what they want me to do. But I won't miss it on this. The future is a vague thing. Ever change, you can always doubt. Even if we chose so we could gain the ability to foresee the future, it would be a hollow gift, for we could never hope to control what has yet to occur. The fountain is an example of this. The day may come where its water dries up, and there's nothing we can do to stop such a tragedy. But we do know this. Unlike this uncertain flow of water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the chosen will never dry. Oh, hello there. More of these beetles. Again, no match for me. Let's see if we can scan this, though. Really? Can't? Alright, whatever. Ah! Okay, what's it all for now? I got to that energy tank we saw an episode or two back. That's more health for us. Nice. So that wasn't all... Not for not. <laughs> I do remember that there was another door back in that elevator that we saw. So we'll go back and uh, make our way to see where that door leads to. On the way back, I want to mention something that I found out when I was booting up to start up this recording session. The state that we're in right now, let, let me see if I can go to the pause button. Or pause screen, rather. Yeah, this, uh form of Samus we are currently in. I actually booted up the game again and it shows Samus doing her little blasty thing before the game boots up but in this form I thought that was a neat touch. I just want to bring attention to that. Pretty sure that the same thing happened when we still had our big shoulder. <laughs> uh, big football shoulders. So it's kind of cool that the game does had that kind of detail to it. Uh, they were something as minuscule as a startup screen. Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. I know, Biggie. It's gonna blow up its hive anyways. There you are. And yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, there's more of them. Thought there was just the one hive. I didn't see the other ones. Doesn't matter. This Blow them up just the same. They can't harm me one bit, especially after I beat it with like their big hive. Like these things are not that much of a concern to me now. The crate. Yeah, probably got nothing. Let's see if I can get up here. Ah, I can't. Spider ball augmentation. Uh, hmm. Interesting. I still don't think it's a good idea to take that. Because uh, I want to make it my main objective. 
to find some way to get over to that bird though, which is over there. That looks like the way to start my way over there. Could be through that vent near the elevator. I was gonna do more backtracking. So I gotta go a little higher up. Near to one of these doors that I went to before. Just swap one up just for the just for the heck of it. They'll just build it back in like a few minutes anyway, so it's not a big deal. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Oh! More of those scarabs. Doesn't matter, they give them a lot of a lot of health anyways. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been here before. There's probably another Morph Ball Sacred that I could go through if I just forgot about it. Yeah, this is definitely new. It's one of these, uh, blinking type rooms. Uh, see this kind of thing before. Just gotta avoid the acid. I wonder what this is. Uh, nothing good, I bet. Valor choked by overgrowth. Toxic levels are high. Yeah, stay away from that, of course. But I was more interested in this. The surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceed our expectation. We chose to have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day where a power to purify the poison appears. However, However, it's already impossible to collect all the pieces of the Great Poison, as it has already spread, seeping into the planet hardening. Right. They were trying to find a cure for this Great Poison. That's what we found out recently. <laughs> of course, it didn't scan the acid. <laughs> Alright, contaminated water, my bad. Acid, contaminated water. Same thing. Still lethal, no matter what you call it. We'll go through here. Ah, these are new enemies. Of course, I want to scan them. Shriek Bat, Territorial Ceiling dwell Dweller. Body temperature peaks at 121 degrees centigrade. They have high internal temperature, making them easy to spot with thermal imaging. They roost on cave ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive off anything that wanders near, as we just saw. At least they kill themselves on impact. So they don't seem too... Uh, strong to eliminate. And what are these blast doors? Easily disposable now. Whoa. Okay, this is even more dangerous than the... Like the room we were in like two rooms ago. Reprovide. Powerful rock dwelling tentacle. Single eye upon the Reprovide contains a constant vigil. But its vigil is limited to 10 meters. Vigil has 10 to lethal sharpness. I'll swing anything with its sort of perception. So just blast it to get out of the way. I appreciate it'll come back. I want to see more of this. Scan that from a distance. Nice. The presence of a runic symbol here. Maybe that's something I gotta get to. What's that? Oh, the symbol's been activated. Alright, fine. <laughs> fine, as in a reprovide. Blast these. I make my way across as fast as possible. Another blast door. Ooh, options, options. This game just keeps opening more doors for me the more I make my way through it. Ah! Stupid plants. I didn't think those would hurt, those would hurt me. Okay. So, what's this all about? Can I shoot it? Can't shoot it. Hey! Go away! It's not your time yet. Yeah, I got that part. Maybe it's something I can't fiddle with right now. It might be a hit to something later on. Do I dare go for that blast door? I'll open it up. 
so I could go back to it later. Because I'm not trusting myself going through that water. Yeah, it's better just to hop over here if I can. Nice. Okay, there's a split in the path, too. Doesn't look like I can get over there. There's four of these dang wasps. If only a wasp were this easy to take care of in real life. No joke, we've had our fair share of, like, wasps, wasps and bees inside our home throughout the summer. It was really annoying to deal with, but now that's the fall, it seems it won't be that much of an intrusion anymore. But still, it was pretty annoying to deal with for, for a bit. And another door. And where is the sleepy two? Okay, so dead over there, so I'm pretty sure that's a save room. Okay, we'll check the left wing first before we wrap things up for today, because this is kind of getting long enough as it is. And I suspect that's a save room. We'll save that, <laughs> part of the pun, for a few minutes longer, because I want to see what else I can find here. Oh, more blast caps. What's that? Path of corruption leads even higher, so I guess to tell me to go higher. Well, basic hits aside. I make it so right now, let's go through that door. Open sesame. <laughs> What's this? That which fouls the water seeks the sun. Ah, oh, boy, those stupid bats. The great poison comes from town's core. You better be careful here. I do see this. Truth always... Truth awaits you in a secret hall. Hey! This might be hitting that I'm getting close to one of those artifacts. Last door unlocked. Yeah, this turned out to be a little longer than I thought it would be. At least I'm not running low on supplies. But these convenient platforms are giving me the way to go forward. Hold on, I want to pick up my scan visor again. Gets water once flowed here. So this used to be like a... Oh crap, that's a good... Get through there. Now I know why they placed these here. Ooh, hello. Another one of those symbols. I wonder if these symbols represent the 12 artifacts that are spread throughout the planet. And seeing those might indicate that I'm near one. That's what I'm suspecting. Or they could be there just for show. Either way. They are pretty noteworthy to look out for. Even if they don't do much, still a good thing to, uh, to keep an eye out for. Ah, uh, yeah. I know where it all comes together. This middle gate blocks entrance to the area beyond four runic symbols adorns its, its surface. Yeah, I did see at least that. I don't remember seeing the other two. Maybe if I shoot it? No. So I probably have to touch all these symbols before I can move forward. And once again, it's blocking something. It does seem look like a missile expansion, but something a little better than that. Ooh, charge beam! I want that! I want that so much! And I see that Choso lore the background too. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the save room and we'll call it quits for today. Oh, there's another one over here too. Oh, it's been activated. I gotta scan to activate. Nice. But wait, I saw one of those before and I know I'd scanned it. So I'm pretty sure it did activate for some reason. I wonder why. 
Maybe I need to find this first before I could let it activate, or maybe I just scan the plants by accident. Well, the case may be, I have a clear objective on what I want to do next time. We made quite a bit of ways into this. We didn't get to any artifacts, but I feel like we're getting close to something big here. And besides, I want that charge beam. I remember how useful it can be to attract the smaller pickups that float above my head. Beats having that, then have to like, jump for them all the time and hope I collect them. So next time, we're gonna find a way to open that door and get that charge beam. And see where things go from there. Probably try to make even more progress to get closer to that bird room. Until we meet again, farewell for now.